when you first time open this application, uh, you have to config. Yeah, because the default value will not work for you. And uh, when you first uh, when you plug in the USB port to your PC, um, here uh, I will see this UI is uh, actually not user want from you to select just COM port, but uh, for but the first time I don't understand. Mm, maybe this this uh, user interface can show com with number in this uh, box I think will be much more user friendly uh, on my on my PC uh, this is com3 uh, another important point here is you have to keep this com port number uh, all, you, all you can see is the index. This index should be smaller than 10. Because you cannot select 10. But if you get a larger number, uh, larger than 10, you have to use uh, other application to reset your COM port index to lower than 10. Here, my COM port is 3. You just click this button, you get 3. Uh, you, you can see the force feedback UK1. You see the UK2, we can just ignore it. And uh, this is uh, IP address, uh, my, my PC, you have to enter it, your, uh, your IP. Please use your uh, real IP for this one. Okay. And uh, below there's a button called Force Feedback Yoke. Okay. You see, you you coins master. You don't have to change anything here. You just click show you you coin. <laughs> Again, I would say this UI is uh, super unfriendly. Okay. Um, let us test the yoke. Yeah. When I click the run, you should see the change in the aileron and uh, and uh, when, you, when, you, when you pull and push you will see the elevator position is changing if you see that okay at least your your yoke and uh, with your PC is working. Communi uh, their communication is is okay. The second important thing is switch a set assignment. When you when you you, you, you can when I when I press the when I press the button when I press the button, or the pitch, pitch up, pitch down here, you will see the 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 green box on the application. They will turn, they will turn to red when you click. Okay, by this method, you 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 can check your um, your hardware is 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 fine. Those two configuration is most important. And uh, here is a force feedback uh, settings. 
because the default configuration file provides you super uh, large, super strong force force for you to to rotate or or push or pull. Here's my setup. I I took it for one week to fine tune to my favorite value. You can take it as your reference here. And the the wheels shocks the shake. I don't like it. I pull it to zero. Even even if I pull I pull this slide slider to zero. I still can feel the 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 motor is shaking when the aircraft is is started and uh, the turbulence effect when you get turbulence you will get your yoke shaking as well uh, the other important is FSB uh, sensitivity I would say this value is uh, is the most important value to affect your force feedback. If you stretch this value to uh, all the way down to the right, you will get a maximum force on this yoke. So here is my favorite value. And the max force, this, this is the, the, the limitation of the forces. And uh, here's a weight. You will see the there's a formula. They they how they calculate the force feedback to you. Uh, right now the right now because the uh, the the explain explain eleven is not running, so you not you will not see the L speed. You will always see the L speed gets zero here. So, so but if you got your explain running this value uh, would be as a parameter to multiply to the sensitivity and your position and uh, so on and so forth and uh, finally equal to your force okay that is uh, all the important settings I want to introduce you to be noticed Thank you for watching.